Hey guys, Becky here with Design Bundles and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have a really great Procreate tutorial. We are working with lettering grids. All right guys, so what you're gonna see here is I have come to my downloaded items because I actually purchased this on my computer, but I'm coming back in through my iPad to download it. And it's gonna be this Procreate letter grid template right here. So I'm going to click on download files and download the zip folder. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to watch up here in the top right corner. You see where that bar is moving. So I'm going to click on it when it's done. And then I want to click and hold the lettering grids zip and I'm going to choose uncompress. Now if I click on that, you'll see that I do have two options. One is instructions for installing. So let's go ahead and pull that up. All right, so let's take a look at that. So we're gonna go, we're hit done, and we're going to click and hold. So I'm gonna go to share, and then I'm gonna click open and procreate. So now it's importing. So let's start a new canvas. Now I want to be able to use this in procreate. So let's open our brushes. And the very top one is lettering grids. And then I have all of these to choose from. Now it's my understanding that these are stamps. So let's just, you know what? I'm really digging that one right there, that banner one. So let's just click, all right, awesome. So now let's go back and select a regular font. Okay, and then let's also take a look at layers. I think what we actually wanna do is create a new layer to keep it separate from the stamp guide that we just made. So let's click on layer one though, and I want to click on my cursor up here, and that's what will allow me to make it larger or smaller or turn it a little bit. So whatever I wanna do with it, because it is a stamped design. So now let's go back to layer two which is the layer that we just created. And we have our brush already selected, right? You know what, let's do another color also. Let's do pink. Who doesn't need pink? And then I will just be able to write out. So obviously I am off center. So I probably need to school myself on how to use these grids. <laughs> so if we're gonna write, all right, let's write welcome. All right. This is going to be a welcome banner. So W E L C O M E that's seven letters. So let's start in the middle. So W E L C. So let's go ahead and write our C C O M E. Okay. So W E L. All right. Let's switch. You know what, let's make another layer. Now guys, remember, I am still pretty new to Procreate. So we are learning along together, but I do enjoy a good sketch. Now, obviously tracing this out in Procreate does not make this my design. The lettering is my design, but you can't trace somebody else's work in Procreate. All right, so let's then, let's go here and let's just uncheck and see how we did. Hey, I mean, not bad. It could be worse, right? I wonder if I could fill this in. Let's just choose a lighter blue and maybe just a little darker. I'm just dragging and dropping this color in there. Then we can hold down and move that down there. All right, sweet. So, I mean, what do you guys think? I thought it was pretty basic, right? That was, that was pretty easy. All right, let's erase this. Let's do something else. All right, so let's go back. Let's pick a different grid. There are definitely a lot of options here. I really, really like this. I really like this one. This one looks fun. Let's change the color. Click on our cursor to enlarge it. All right, let's choose a different layer and a different color. Let's do, what about the purple this time? Okay, I'm on a new layer and a new color. So what if we, what do we wanna write out, guys? Let's do, let's do spring. Let's do spring, what if we do that? Actually, what happens, just kidding. Let's go back to this layer. Let's play with one more thing. Can we, oh, down here at the bottom, there we go, flip horizontally. Okay, okay, let's try again. New layer, purple, select a brush. So now I can write, and it should still work for a script font too. All right, let's look. Ah, you can't really tell, can you? All right, so let's 
get rid of that. Probably be happier. Okay, what's something different we can try out? I always forget that you can hold down on your brush stroke and straighten out your lines. All right, let's see. Ah, not too bad. I guess it's just gonna depend on the design that you wanna create, but I definitely, definitely am excited to be able to use these types of grids in my uh, hopefully new artwork collection, right? Because that's why we want to learn these things is we want to be able to create things on our own. Well, that certainly gives it more appeal, in my opinion. All right, so not too bad, not too bad. I do still obviously have work to do on my lettering, but, uh, but I like it, guys. I really like it. And I like having these guides here to be able to come in here and create all the different things that um, that I feel like I can do and this will help me along my way. I mean, what design doesn't need a good heart? Am I right? <laughs> Alright guys, well hopefully you get the gist of it. I wish that I had a little bit more skill with creating these designs so that I could show you something really, really awesome with it, but as I improve, I promise to keep bringing you guys these tutorial videos and hopefully it's something you will enjoy as much as I do. So guys, how did you feel about using those lettering guides in Procreate? Now, hopefully you didn't judge my uh, little designs there too harshly. It does take some getting used to and it is an area that I'm very excited to explore. So hopefully you're excited too and hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Of course, I would love to hear from you guys if you have any questions or if you wanna share any tips on your hand lettering journey. And of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend because all of that helps to support the channel so we can keep bringing you these really cute tutorials. So I'm going to wrap it up for today, guys, but I do appreciate it. I appreciate you and we will see you again next time.